often customers sell the same product to both consumers and to businesses. The product is sold as a single piece to business to consumer customers and in a box to business to business customers. The product is in scarce supply, so when prioritizing, the business to business customer is preferred over the business to consumer. Familiar scenario? How is this supported within your company? Do you want to know how SAP can support you in this? Hi, great that you're watching this video. My name is Nico Kuiper and in the past seven years I've gained experience in order to cash, procure to pay and transportation processes. As supply chain consultant with McCoy & Partners, I help customers in dealing with order confirmations, particularly in challenging circumstances where there is limited supply. In our example, the customer uses material number A for the unpacked product and they're using material B for the packed product. For both SKUs, the core product is the same. And now the question arises how to prioritize the business to business customers over the business to consumer customers when dealing with two different material numbers that use the same core product. In this video, we'll show how product allocation in SAP Advanced ATP tackles this problem. Visualized in the below picture, you'll see that a certain supply quantity is reserved for business to business, a certain quantity for business to consumer, and the remainder allocation can be used to fulfill demands for whoever comes first after the original allocated quantity is depleted, thereby considering the different pack sizes. In our example scenario, we're allocated 1000 pieces for business to business and 250 for business to consumer based on the priority. The first part of the problems are the two packing sizes. The material is managed and stored at the smallest unit of measure, in this case piece. Through the conversion factors, the material master, we ensure that 24 pieces are packed in a box. Business to business customers are delivered in boxes via a separate distribution channel. Business to consumers customers, represented by a generic one-time customer in another distribution channel, will be delivered in single pieces. In this product planning app, we are allocating the quantities per distribution channel. An important detail is that we assigned both material A and B to the same allocation object, which represents the core product. Next, we show you the splitting of allocation groups. SAP allows a very flexible definition of those by creating your own characteristic value combinations. This allows you to fine tune your approach using multiple fields while still managing the scarcity problem on material level. In this allocation object, we already defined two objects. And now we're adding a third one. As you can see, we have multiple options here to select from. And now we're adding the customer group as a third option. And here's where the beauty of S4HANA solution comes in, is that the allocation quantities can be managed in Fiori. The material level is visualized on how the allocation is consumed by the different groups of business to business and business to consumer customers. On the left, you can see the characteristic value combination. In our case, the different distribution channels. You see that the load is for both 100%. Here on the right, you see the sales order items fully or partially confirmed. Let's have a look at the partially confirmed. Here we see two sales orders that has been partially confirmed with the requested delivery date in December, the requested quantities, and the confirmed quantities. You see them both for the bottle orders and for the orders for boxes. As a bonus, the Fiori app allows to directly update the assigned allocation quantities. SAP supports a full download and upload functionality to easily adapt quantities when the supply situation changes. For this allocation object, we are now in editing modus. This allows us to do a direct download of the sheet. In the Excel, I'm adjusting the quantities for the month January for both business to business and business to consumer distribution channels. We're now back in the Fiori app. We do an upload of the Excel file. And as you can see now, the quantities are adjusted for the month January. 
are your customers also asking for more than you currently can produce? Please like this video and leave a message in the comments on how to deal with scarce supply. Thanks for watching, stay tuned for the next one and goodbye.